So I'm currently in the madness that is uh, Disney World in Florida. As I've said on other videos, I uh, have taken the opportunity during half term to take the kids away and we're having a bit of a blowout holiday in Florida. But I thought it would be interesting for you to understand how uh, I've arrived at this blowout holiday in Florida. There is actually a backstory to do it. It's not been funded by the sports training, it's actually been funded by an investment that I made rather wisely a few years ago. And I think there are lessons in there for everybody, whether it's sports markets or financial markets. Um, so that's why I thought I'd do this video. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get instant notification of new videos as they're released. So yeah, the great thing about uh, the trip this year is we've gone all out and done everything in style, um, etc, etc. But uh, it isn't funded actually from the stuff that I do typically on a day-to-day -day basis. It's funded by an investment opportunity that I discovered in February 2009. And the interesting thing about uh, this period uh, of my life is that I can link this visit and prior visits uh, to a decision that was made during the last financial crash, which, which shows um, how to be a contrarian, and how to think out. But in fact, the backstory behind it is quite interesting. And it all started when I went on a business trip to Houston in 1994, I think it was. It was around that period, somewhere around there. It could be 95. And I was sat at Houston Airport, had a long plane flight ahead of me, and decided to pick up a book. And that book was on Warren Buffett. And I was absolutely captivated by it, so much so that when I got back to the UK, I was determined to buy Berkshire Hathaway stock. And I was also determined to go to the AGM of Warren Buffett's company uh, in Omaha, Nebraska, and actually meet the guy and shake his hand because it was a, a light bulb moment for me when I learned all about Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway. So anyway, wind forward 10 years and I'm in Omaha, Nebraska. I actually get the chance to meet Buffett, uh, which not many people have had the chance to do. So I had to come up with a, an interesting question to ask him and to quiz him on to take back for the magazine that I was writing the story for. And what I chose to quiz him on was the 1974-75 financial crash, because I thought in moments like that, how do you have the resolve and steel to make really intelligent purchases? And that's what I was quizzing him about, because he did this great purchase with American Express stock, where he bought it in the middle of a crisis, and it turned out to be an absolutely fantastic investment. And his story was that despite the crisis and all of the situations behind it, the stock was still a bargain because everybody was still using it. So wind forward many years and I turned up at Disney uh, one year just after the financial crash of 2008 and I, not in a, in a spot not too far from here, I waited 20 minutes to get a five dollar ice cream and I'm sort of thinking well this is mad because we're in the worst financial situation since the Great Depression and yet um, lo and behold, people are waiting 20 minutes to get a $5 ice cream. And it's not, you know, Disney parks are not cheap places to go. And I was, I was thinking, well, it's amazing just how busy it is here. And yet, you know, Disney stock was getting pummeled. Everybody is running away from investments and stock markets. And, you know, there was a complete wild panic on. And I thought, well, maybe this is my opportunity. So I did that classic thing, which is, what would Warren do? And what Warren would have done is he snapped up stock. So that's exactly what I did. I got onto my US broker, figured out how much money was in my account, um, and started buying Disney stock at relatively cheap prices. And I did all of my research and due diligence, and I knew what sort of price I'd like to acquire it for. Um, and that's what I went off and did. I figured out that there was an opportunity. I figured out that it was at a good price, and I probably wouldn't get the opportunity to buy it at that price again for quite a few years. Um, so I started acquiring Disney stock. Uh, got it, I can't remember exactly how much I got it for, um, somewhere between 10 and 15 dollars maybe around that price, I'd have to double check that. Um, but not so long ago Disney stock was uh, riding at 120 dollars, uh, so it was almost a 10 bagger as they call it in financial market terms. Um, and it was one of the best purchases I've ever done and that has actually helped fund this trip. So rather bizarrely I'm a Disney shareholder at Disney and I've paid for the trip using Disney stock and it's uh, one of the best investment decisions I've ever made. But it shows something really important, which is how critical your thinking is when those moments come around. What Buffett said to me was that it was impossible at any moment. There are positive and negatives at, at all the time, at, at the top of the market, at the bottom, in the middle of a crisis and so on. He goes, but you just buy something that makes perfect sense. You do the maths, you figure out if you've got enough margin of safety, and away you go. And if you think you've got something that's really good, um, you put a lot of money into it, which is exactly what I did. So it's turned out to be financially one of the best trades that I've ever done. 
and it was all thanks to picking up the book, going to Omaha, meeting Buffett, which wasn't planned, um, you know, doing all of that stuff. Uh, but in fact, the decision was made in about 15, 20 minutes while I was queuing for an ice cream, not so far from here, that I decided that, you know, despite all of the problems that were in the world at that time, the place was absolutely packed and therefore, you know, that seemed to be an enduring characteristic of the company. People would still be here, uh, whatever the prevailing circumstances. Now, uh, whatever was happening in the economy, it was still going to be busy and the equity and the brand and all of those factors in Disney just seemed to stick out like a sore thumb at that point. And so almost immediately I started acquiring stock. But the decision actually spans back many, many years before then. But it all just came together in that split moment when I sat there filling my face with an ice cream. But um, I thought that uh, may be an interesting story for you. If you look at where Disney stock has gone since then, it just highlights that if you're brave enough to take on a decent uh, position at the right time, then the rewards can be absolutely huge. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. So while this is to do with financial markets and not necessarily sports markets or trading, it just shows you really that um, when those moments come, you have to act decisively. And of course it could have gone the other way, but it didn't. And you can't let yourself get into that mode of what if, what if, what if, what if. You wait for opportunities. Um, you don't squander and jump on every opportunity that you think could be there because you want it. You, if you're patient enough, you can sit there and wait for opportunities and you will recognize them when they come around, whether that's in a sports market, a financial market or anything like that. As long as you can identify what the key opportunities are and you think carefully about them, then when you see them, you act decisively and that's where the opportunity is created. It's not necessarily created in the thinking or the thought process that led up to that. You need to do that. You also need to spot opportunities, but also you need to act on them. So there are almost three components to a good trade, a good investment, uh, and good decision making. And that's why I thought I'd share this video with you because it gives you that insight of the decision making process that went into that trade. It wasn't a one-off thing. It was a question of being patient, waiting for the opportunity, and then striking while the iron was hot. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial.